We'll also make sure that we look at the, the, the income tax, the tax bills, sorry, the tax bills, to see where they affect women and girls most and ensure that we ask government to drop some of those taxes. Well, today here at Parliament we are addressing some of the issues and one of them were the menstrual health. Menstrual health, well, as we all know, girls and women menstruate every month and that is a normal thing. We should, it's something that we cannot escape from. Well, we were, talking, uh, we were telling the Parliament and it was our prayer that if it is possible to extend um, these parts uh, to every girl as they do extend condoms to every city station. And another thing, I actually pray that the government should help us kill the young girls, provide us with the necessities that we need to skill these girls on how to make pads because that is one of the re reliable ways on how girls can access their pads. Another thing I pray and I plead with the Ministry of Education and Ministry of Health to please encourage each and every school to construct insinuators so as to provide a good environment for the girls in school. And basically as the SHILIDs we look at asking the government to make sure that it continues to include the issues and perspectives of, of girls and young women in all decision making processes because we believe the issues and the recommendations that girls and young women also bring on board are very key and important in issues of national development. For example, when it comes to issues of the budget, when it comes to issues in health sector, issues in education, we believe girls and young women's perspectives are very key if they are listened to and if girls are given platforms where they can be able to share those issues and recommendations.